is for like seven plus. <laughs> Good morning guys, happy Sunday. We have officially been in the house now for a whole week. We got Wi-Fi yesterday, which, oh, it makes such a big difference. It was actually a really painful week trying to work from home. I actually only had to work from home one day. Cameron was working from home pretty much the whole week and it was not fun. It just meant that internet kept dropping out. We couldn't attend meetings. Can't watch TV properly in the evenings. Anyway, who knew? I mean, I guess we did, but I forgot how much we rely on Wi-Fi, but that's arrived, which is awesome. We've also got so many new house bits, which I can't wait to show you. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen the chest of drawers when we went shopping last weekend and we bought them and they are so, so stunning. I'll show you all the bits as soon as we get home. But for now, we are heading off to have a very autumnal day. I feel like in some respects, we've slightly missed out on a lot of the autumn activities because it's just been all about the house move. But today we're going pumpkin picking, which is so exciting. So we're going to a farm in Surrey near where we live and you pick your own pumpkin you take it away and then we've also got tickets there's like a festival put on by local butchers there as well and they do like sausages and stuff so yeah hopefully it's going to be a really fun autumnal day and i'll take you with us so you can pick our pumpkins with us and then we will head back to the house and i will show you all of the new stuff and everything we've got planning everything we've got coming up for the next week
pumpkin picking. The winter outfits are out. We've both got our fluffy shirling on. They've even got velvet trousers. This side looks like a very perfect round yeah, pumpkin. The, back, the back's fun. The yeah, exactly. All the back, you just like have pointed, like you know, against the wall. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. That's a big white one. That one's nice, isn't it? There's so many options. Do you try and lift it? You couldn't. No. <laughs> I can lift it. Right. Oh my gosh! It's <laughs> so heavy. Oh, it's for like seven <laughs> plus. I need to go to the gym. <laughs> that little like top bit there. Because it's so sunny over there, there's actually some really good pumpkins down this end. Because people are clearly like not wandering into the shade. I think we found quite a good loot. <coughs> it's very hard to decide though, because I kind of want a pointy top. But then Cameron's thinking maybe that we get one that's like a little bit taller and skinnier. Like maybe this one. Bella, it's a watermelon! And then also a round chubby one like this one, and they kind of go together because it's slightly different shapes. I do quite like these two. We've put them together as options. What do you think? We have one pumpkin secured. And this poor little squash that was misidentified as a watermelon, <laughs> as you heard in the back there. <laughs> poor guy. We just have one more to choose. We're just going to get one each. Oh, decisions. But it's honestly such an insanely gorgeous day. I mean, look at this weather. Not a cloud in the sky. Yeah, I think he's really cute. And he does have like a little bit of a hat. A little bit of a hair. Yeah, he's got a little tuft. He's pretty perfect. I mean, give him a little scrub. Yeah, he's a good shape. I think we go with him. Oh, there he goes. He's such an adventurer. He's so determined to get the perfect pumpkin. Let's go find him. There she goes. Perfect. I wonder if we could get two if we had... He's been in war. He's been at war. Oh no. Him versus birds. <laughs> Look how perfect that little one is. If you're going to talk little, I wonder if we could get two because basically the way it works is you get these um, tokens that are worth four pound fifty each, and then you can redeem your four pound fifty against the price of your pumpkin. But look at this little guy. Oh, is that a giant? I'm pretty confident that that is a giant spider's nest. Do you think it is? That little bobbly thing on top, I don't know. But look how perfect he is, don't you think? Yeah, and he's got a proper little hat. Oh, they've also got little cute white ones. Oh, these are very sweet. Look at these. Oh, they're so cute and pretty. These ones are pretty. These ones are not for carving. These ones are for, for decorating. I haven't done any pumpkin decorating yet. Oh, look, she's beautiful. Two little white ones are going in the bag. <laughs> Changes left this town while I'm.
slowly heading back to my apartment I'm not asking for your thoughts I'm just thinking out loud in the darkness look it's honestly insane and these hot chocolates <gasps> honestly they are absolutely delicious and the weather is still so amazing oh what an incredible autumnal day That was so nice. Honestly, it was like such a nice way to spend a few hours of our day. It felt so autumnal. Those hot dogs and the, and the um, hot chocolates were so, so good. So good, in fact, that we decided we're basically going to have the same thing for dinner. So we went to Tesco's on the way home. We've got them in our big waitress bags because we take them with us when we go. Popped into Tesco's on the way home and we have bought sausages so I've got sorry there's like so much stuff still everywhere I'm going to give you a proper look round the place in just a second but we got some sausages of all different varieties because we both wanted to try different ones so Cameron's got two different meat ones to try I've got two different veggie ones to try and then I also got this I mean the world of vegetarian and vegan food is it's going crazy. Look at this. So this is a, they now do, this isn't, now do roast chicken with stuffing and like, oh, and like a butter thing on top. And like, look, it like properly looks like a bit of chicken. So I think I'm going to put that in the freezer and have that another day. But I just thought, I rarely go to like those massive, massive supermarket shops and we just happen to walk, drive by a massive one. And they've always got like such good stock. So I thought I would grab it. And then we got some frozen peas to have some peas with our sausages. And we're gonna do sausages and mash and peas and gravy. And then we also did buy, Cameron's just washing up our teapot because we're gonna make some tea. And then we also bought some sauerkraut because it was so good in the hot dog. So we're basically gonna have a variety of the hot dog that we had, but instead of, I don't actually know if I showed you properly, the hot dogs that we had were Bavarian. So they were caramelized onions, sauerkraut, sausages and then mustard and ketchup and it was so good so we're gonna do caramelized onion gravy sauerkraut peas mash sausages for dinner the perfect sunday food i think and then our pumpkins they're so cute so we got two main big ones this is one of them don't you think that he or she is so pretty i'm leaving it up to cameron to to gender name them because he has quite strong opinions about which ones are boys and girls. And then oh, they're quite muddy actually, so I probably shouldn't get them out too much in here. And then we've got two little white ones. This one and this one. And I think these ones I'm just gonna leave in here, give them a good wash, and then just like have them as our pretty much only fall or autumn Halloween-y decorations because we just haven't had an opportunity to like do any proper decor stuff for autumn. So it's gonna be those two little white pumpkins and then our second pumpkin. There's another onion for dinner. Oh, this is the big one. Oh, stop. <laughs> Fairly carrying. And then this one. Don't you think they look good? 
I think they're our perfect pumpkins. Do you think we just put the pumpkins in the bags and then put them in the shed? Do you want to wash them first or wash them when we... Should we just wash them when we carve them? I think that's a good idea. Okay, so we're going to put them... Our... I think they're both of us. Right. I think they're both of So it's said at the thing that um, the, you can keep your pumpkins for like a month. Or months. Yeah. Months. Cool, dry shed. In a cool, dry shed, which we have! But I'm going to wash the white ones and just keep them in here, yeah. <sighs> cool! Right. Time to make a cup of tea, get all this stuff from the shops put away, and then I will give you a bit of a tour about where we're at and what we still need to do. I've actually got a couple of friends coming around this afternoon in literally like two hours. So I would love to have this place looking decent for when they get here. We have been doing so much this place this week. Like, we've just been just honestly working so hard to get everything unpacked. So, right, make a cup of tea and then I'll show you what we're dealing with. Okay, so my friends are gonna be here any second. So I might not get through all the updates before they arrive, but I will resume with showing you everything once they've gone, if we don't get through it all. I'm gonna start in the main bedroom. This is where we're currently at. Honestly, we have done so much around work this week. Bed is up, as you guys saw. Look at the new chest of drawers. Obviously, we still need some organization. I still need to style it. Like, there's a lot of tech stuff out here that I don't want. Sorry, I thought that was a knock at the door. Yeah, there's a lot of tech stuff out, which I don't love, and it won't stay like this. But just look at the actual piece. I honestly think that it is so stunning. I think the color of the wood, like the lime wash, I think the like the kind of French style details at the bottom, I just think it's so stunning. And I just feel like this room is really starting to come together. Cameron also put in a lot of effort putting up this mirror, which I just think means that it's super nice and neat. And we've got a proper full length mirror in here. And this is literally from Ikea, so cheap and just such a nice, easy thing to have. I've got my grandma's flowers up. When my grandma passed away, we were gifted these like fake flowers um, from a family friend. And I just always like having them in the bedroom. So I've got those up and I've also got my grandma's old mirror as well in here. But other than that, I haven't really done any styling. It is such a gorgeous day today. And now that these bits from the bed are starting to come together, it just feels so good. That is the only thing that's not tidy. This is tucked away. <laughs> it's the mattress protector I need to put on tonight before we go to sleep. Bathroom, then if you guys remember, boxes were absolutely piled high. We have been going through it so quickly. So I've got some of my bath products out on here. The bath is actually a bit grubby because the only person that's had a bath so far is Barley with his muddy paws. We've started to fill up some drawers in here. Again, this is another little Ikea unit, which isn't really a permanent solution because it doesn't look very pretty in here at all, but there's just no bathroom storage here really and we need something. So that will do perfectly for now. And then once we've got a bit of headspace to think about it, we'll jazz it up a little bit. And then again, I'm using this thing quite well at the moment. I've basically got all the products that I use like every single day on here and then I've got like my makeup bag and like my leftover skincare that kind of spills over from like deodorant and like my main serum, moisturizer, sun, SPF um, and then perfumes that I use every day. So that's also starting to feel good. And then if we head around the corner, there's not really a lot to see in that bathroom to be honest. Like it's again, still not very neat because we've got stuff down there, but at least it's starting to feel like we can properly live in there. Same thing, this, we've just put stuff in it for now, but it's not very organized. Basically, we've managed to get all of our coats up in here and then we've got some Christmas stuff, but needs a lot of organization in there. This room has had the most progress. Do you remember? The boxes were literally packed to the front door. I mean, packed. And now you can get in the whole room, which is amazing. So right now we've got a lot of linen drying. Very cute, I know. And then we've got a chest of drawers back here which we're using and you can see like we've got spare duvets and everything. We've just got so many pillows. Like where do we put all these pillows? We probably should donate a few of them. Got all of our shoes on this massive shoe wall, which I don't love. We need to find some doors to put across there. But again, we'll get to all this stuff in time. And it's just been super satisfying to be able to start putting clothes in here. So I've got all my summer clothes in here and all of my autumn winter clothes in the wardrobe in the main room. The study still needs quite a lot of work, 
but honestly Cameron has done like all of this he's done such a good job of getting like all the books out he's organized all the cables into the drawers we have a lot of techie bits and then we're using this cupboard as a bit of like a bathroom backstock cupboard for now where we um have got like spare moisturizers and and stuff like that in there because again we just don't have the best storage in the bathroom and then we come downstairs honestly it's such a gorgeous day you probably can see my reflection too much, but this red tree out here is so pretty. Right, let's head down. And then you come into the living room and this is our new TV cabinet. I love it. I think it's so nice. I think it does look quite orange with the orange of the floor, but we're going to get rugs in here. It's going to soften up and it's actually really growing on me. When it first arrived, I thought, oh gosh, I think it's a bit orange, but actually I really love it. I think it's so well made. The quality is so good. I'm obsessed and I just think it looks so nice. This is the one that you saw us looking at in the Cotswold Company in the shop when we went to go and visit it. Cameron's also popped the TV up on the wall, which I think looks so nice. And then this is our coffee table, which I think goes so well with the sofa. I love it. Again. All this stuff needs styling. This has literally just arrived out of the box, stuck it in its location. We've ordered a rug to go here, which I think will just shape this part of the room so nicely. And I'm still just so obsessed with the sofa. I think it's absolutely perfect. And then for now, we've kind of just gone for lamp, mirror, little like coffee table stool thing next to Cameron's um, rocking chair, which I think works perfectly well for now. We can kind of think about it. I think if we had a better rug there than this silly thing, I think that will make a big difference. Still need to get my painting up on the wall, which I think will look so lovely. And then again, you come into here and all the boxes have gone. So this is finally starting to look so good. We have the largest pile of laundry known to man. There is so much bed linen that needs to be washed, which is just so bulky. But otherwise, in here, everything is starting to look really good. Are you happy with it? Yeah. It's yep. Really clean. Yeah, it's starting to feel clean. We both quite like things quite clean, so I think it's been a bit stressful for us um, when it, with it being chaotic. I've got my lovely flowers that Cameron got me for hitting 5,000 subscribers. And again, I mean, all of this still needs organizing. I don't know where to put these. Maybe I just like, I don't know, pop them on the floor. I don't know if that's like a bit too weird if I put them on the floor. What do you think? I think that's very weird to put them on the floor. Um, but anyway, this is also starting to feel so clean. We need to get some more dining room chairs. We have four, but the fourth one is working as my desk chair at the moment. And then this is the gorgeous fabric that we picked up from Loaf that you saw in the last vlog. And I think that is gonna be for a sofa that goes right here. We haven't ordered that yet. We're gonna to need to wait a month or two to save a little bit more money to make that purchase. But I'm really excited for that sofa. I think it will make this space feel so nice. And we'll probably buy that sofa and maybe the TV for up there at the same time. On a completely different note, Cameron has got into making loose leaf tea in this teapot and it's game changing. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, it's so, so good. Now I please have some. Oh, sorry, I've just kind of finished it all. No, that's fine. Um, it's so addictive, I could just have cup after cup. But yeah, I think it's all really starting to come together. At least the boxes are gone. When I say the boxes are gone, we have literally this box left. And then we've got like one or two upstairs, but the volume of boxes <laughs> was just insane. I showed you our recycling. Bless you. I showed you the recycling. The volume was crazy. But yeah, it's starting to feel so good. And I just feel so pleased that we've managed to get it into a pretty decent place before we have people around, just because I love having a nice home and it feels nice just to get things into a state where we're not like surrounded by boxes, being very honest. <laughs> I wanted to vlog more of like the actual unboxing, unpacking process, but we found it quite overwhelming. Like earlier this week, it was a little stressful. It was a lot stressful at times. We just thought, oh my gosh, I don't know how we're gonna get through it all. And just having so many boxes, it just starts to feel a bit like, it's like stress on your brain. And part of the reason we moved out here was for like the calm tranquility. And it felt a little bit like we went outside our home and 
it was all like peaceful and calm and tranquil in the countryside. And then we came inside our home and we were like, oh, it's so stressful at home, which is like the opposite of what you want. But we have literally just blitzed it hard. Like every waking minute, up early, we've literally been like up at 5.30 every day, all week, boxes, boxes, boxes. But it's feeling so good. I'm so pumped that we've got it in such a good place. And now we can just start enjoying like styling it and decorating and buying bits. I know we bought a couple of essential bits that we need straight away, but now we can make slower, more considered purchases over time when we've got the savings for it. And yeah, it's feeling so good. I'm loving it.